Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from January 16th to the 22nd and I'm using this under the weather kit from Scribble Prince Co. Now it's been, a, I guess it's, it hasn't really been that long since I've uploaded because I've been uploading so frequently, but it I did take a little bit of a break from uploading just because I was honestly like sick of myself and it mainly had to do with this plan with me. This week was not interesting. It was super boring. I was pretty much sick on and off for the whole week. And I barely did anything other than a puzzle. And I had a milkshake on Monday. Like, really nothing happened. But for whatever reason, I am still so long-winded. And I was listening to my voiceover back. And I just, like... I just wanted to throw my phone out the window. I just can go on and on about the most boring stuff. And I really want to work on that. Um, I already have the voiceover done for my next plan with me. And we're just going to go with that one. I'm not going to redo it. But this one was so painfully boring. So I'm going to try to speed it up and see if I can like, I don't know, shave five minutes off this video or something like that. I just like enough. Nobody cares that you were sick and that your throat was filled with phlegm. We don't need all the details. And that's another thing I really need to work on. I feel like I give way too many disgusting details. And let's be honest, I'm never going to stop, but maybe I can like cut back just a little bit, just a tad. Um, but yeah, clearly uh, this is a sick week and I wasn't planning on using this kit so soon. I sort of hoped that I wasn't going to get sick again until maybe next flu season or something like that because I have been sick on and off since Thanksgiving pretty much. I just never feel good. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll feel good for a day and then I get something new. It's just, it's exhausting and I don't feel like resting anymore. Um, yeah. So the reason, what am I saying? Oh yeah. So the, re the main reason why I decided to use this kit this week was because it was not just me who was sick. My roommate came back from visiting her family and she had very similar symptoms to me. We quite possibly both both had the same thing. And honestly, looking back now, I think we most likely had RSV because that was going around apparently. And those were like our symptoms to a T. But who's to say? Who knows? It's just that time of the year. And I feel like my immune system has never been worse. So yeah. I don't know. And then also my boyfriend eventually found out that he had COVID. So yeah, all of us were out of commission, although he was totally fine. He had zero symptoms, but he did have to quarantine. So I still count that as like, this was also his sick week because he couldn't do anything. He couldn't go anywhere. So yeah. Um, as far as the base of this spread, you can see it's pretty basic, um, nothing crazy, not that there ever is, and nothing on my sidebar except full boxes, which I've really been liking. The only thing I did a little bit differently this time was add some glitter headers, and I love just having this like solid sidebar with absolutely no information on it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get into the day by day and let's see if we can like be speedy about this because it's not that serious. It was a boring week, so let's like not dwell, right? Right. The first thing on Monday I marked was that I was feeling awful. And I think the main reason I was feeling really bad this day was because I was up all night Sunday. Um, I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't get comfortable. And that, you know, can definitely add to your symptoms for sure. Like I sometimes feel sick even when I'm not sick if I don't get sleep. And I'm sure that's a common thing. I also marked that there was no internet. I originally planned on just staying at my boyfriend's because we had plans with a friend later that day. Um, but there was no internet, so I had to rush home. And I didn't get started until 8.40, and I prefer starting work at 8 a.m. because of... Um, like I have to fit my hours in. So if I start at eight, I get off at five. If I start at 8.40, I don't get off it until 5.40. And even though it's the same amount of work, my day feels, my work day feels longer. So it wasn't 
great. And then my roommate was actually supposed to come home this day, but when she found out that I was home, she asked if she could stay with her family until Tuesday because I was there to take care of the cats. And I'm not gonna lie, like I really didn't feel like doing the litter because I felt like shit, but um, I did it because I'm not about to ask her to come home just because it's not my day to do the litter. Like that's, that I, I wasn't on my deathbed. I was just like tired, you know? Um, so yeah, I marked that I rushed home. I also decided to take a shower on my break to see if that would like clear some stuff up. And it definitely did. I felt like I was on the mend. Ha. Huh. Jokes on me for sure was not. But at this moment I was like, oh, okay. This was just a short little thing. Nice. I'm not going to be sick for weeks on end. Mm, mm, okay. I, uh, after work, I went outside and walked around my neighborhood a little bit just to look for Joe's scarf. He had lost it on Friday and we called the escape room. They didn't have it. So the only other thing he thought was maybe when he was helping my mom look for a parking spot outside my apartment, it, you know, he lost it. So unfortunately I couldn't find it. And I mean, I wish he had told me to look for it sooner just because like around here, someone's going to snatch up a scarf like that. Like it's, it's not going to be there days later, you know? So unfortunately no scarf. Um, then because I was feeling a little bit better, um, we all, and by we all, I just meant, um, my boyfriend and I, uh, what am I saying? We didn't meet up with anybody. Our friend came to his place and, We just picked up some milkshakes and brought them back to his place and just sat in his living living room gossiping. It was a very chill, easy get together. And um, even though I was feeling like shit, I'm glad we didn't cancel because she is in nursing school and she was starting this week. And if we didn't meet up this night, we we were not getting together. But I'm not going to lie, I stayed up way too late again because she didn't leave I think until 12 30 in the morning and I should have been asleep at 10 p.m for sure but whatever it was worth it looking back I don't care I will say one thing the shake was so weird nifty 50s Reese's uh milkshake doesn't have Reese's in it they didn't even put like off-brand peanut butter cups in the shake it was semi-sweet like mini chocolate chips and crushed up like chopped up peanuts. I'm sorry, but maybe maybe it's just me. I don't really want to suck up chunks of peanuts in a milkshake. It's like pieces of cookie, sure. Sprinkles, definitely. I love the texture of sprinkles in a, milk, in a milkshake, but full ass peanuts. Why did you call it a Reese's peanut butter cup shake? And it was expensive, but since we just like picked them up and took them, it's not like I knew what you know what I mean like I couldn't swap it out so it it still felt really good on my throat because my throat was killing me so it's all good moving on to Tuesday the first thing I marked that was that I was more sick this day so I foolishly thought I was getting better on Monday and I definitely wasn't I really wanted to call out of work but instead I just made the executive decision to work fully remote this week I am supposed to go into the office one day a week but number one like that would have been so stupid and um it's one thing to like get my boyfriend sick or my roommate sick or whatever but like to expose my germs to an entire office building of people is just rude anyway you know so I just didn't go into the office but I didn't want to waste a vacation day because we don't get personal slash sick days we just have vacation days which um I just I don't want to I don't want to use them I like to hoard them so I forced myself to work And the only issue with that was I officially lost my voice this day and it was incredibly painful and I had to make a lot of phone calls. So you best believe I sent a ton of follow-up emails just to clarify what I was saying because people couldn't hear me. So that was a little awkward, but um, looking back, no regrets. Then I took a nap on my break. Um, It was only 30 minutes, but I got like a full 30 minutes of sleep. The second my head hit that pillow, I was out. Um, And then... After work, I put on Nick DiRamio YouTube videos, just ones I had already seen because he is for sure my comfort YouTuber and I enjoy listening to his voice, especially when I'm like too sick to keep my eyes open. Um, And then the last thing on Tuesday, I just marked that I was asleep at 7.30. Like I probably, I probably fell asleep before 7.30. I'm not going to lie. I got ready for bed and in bed by 6.40 p.m. And I did not wake up until 8 a.m. on Wednesday. I was out, which was really good. 
Um, however, I did wake up still feeling really shitty and wanted to call it again, but didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because after I was up for a few hours, I actually felt like I was getting better again, you know? So I think the sleep was the best thing I could have done for myself. Um, and then I had soup for dinner after work. I honestly could have marked that every single day except Friday. I ate so much soup just because my throat was in so much pain. Um, but this is the day I decided to mark it. I also felt good enough to plan. So I did some plannings, uh, plannings, planning. I watched Sister Wives and an exciting thing was I used a red light therapy machine for the first time. I had purchased one for myself after doing tons of research, um, and I had it shipped to my grandmother's house just because I didn't want to pay. I think it was like 20 or 30 additional dollars for like theft uh, protection. And if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen any of my other plan with me, you know that everything gets stolen from my apartment. And even now someone got access to our mail room and they have the code and they've been stealing packages in there too. So it just made sense to have it sent to my grandmother's house. But... Um, I picked it up from her and then I was basically too tired, too busy, and too sick to set it up. So this day I finally set it up. I finally used it. And as of right now, I've been using it for about a month, um, like four to five days a week. And I don't know if it's placebo effect. I really don't think it is, but I've been using it on my back and my back pain is significantly less than it was. Who knows? Do your own research. Don't take my word for it because it's definitely an investment, but so far I'm happy. Um, I will admit though, it is supposed to like potentially help with seasonal depression. Maybe it's because my depression isn't seasonal right now. It might just be like regular, but I definitely don't feel any effects, like any positive effects in my mood. I will say that. So that's sort of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then the last thing on Wednesday was I spent a significant amount of time searching for um, a birthday gift for a two-year-old just because I don't know what she already has and I wanted to avoid the like Amazon and Target like bestseller lists because I figured everybody else got her that for her birthday. She has a very big family and she's very spoiled. So I really wanted to get her something good, but something not obvious, you know what I mean? And I think I did it. Um, who knows? When I was nannying, okay, see, I'm getting long-winded. I'm just going to stop. I think I got a good gift. That's it. If you want to know what it what it was because you need to buy something for a two-year-old, let me know and I'll go on and on about children's gifts. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked was that I worked and I did use a zombie emoji because even though I was feeling better, the fatigue from whatever illness I had was no joke. It was so hard to just be like awake for work, but I managed and I definitely was on the mend at this point. Then I marked that I took a second COVID test. I had taken one previously just to be sure I didn't have it. Um, but then, unfortunately, Joe informed me this day that he tested positive for COVID. He found out um, that a couple at the party he had gone to the previous week that I left early because I was sick um, was, had had COVID at the party. And um, I didn't get it. So I was really relieved, but he did. So... That was sort of a bummer because I wasn't going to be able to see him at all this weekend, but um, that was also sort of a good thing because I just focused on like resting and feeling like relaxed. So, you know, it worked out for, for me anyway, not for him. He couldn't do anything. Then I just marked that the phlegm was endless. I'm not going to go into the disgusting details, but let me tell you, I've never had anything like it. It was insane. Um... And then I finally mopped and vacuumed this day. I hadn't cleaned all week because I was too physically exhausted, but man, it felt good. I do not, even if I'm in my room and like not out and about in the rest of the apartment, just knowing that it hasn't been mopped or vacuumed eats at my soul. So got that done. And then um, I... Oh, I worked on my awful Abraham Lincoln puzzle and watched Sister Wives. And then I finished the night off by reading Dear Wife, which um, I've officially finished. And I guess I would recommend it, but I would give it like maybe a six out of 10. Like it's good, but it's very easy to put down. I didn't like constantly have to 
you know, stay up late to keep reading, you know, like it wasn't one of those books, unfortunately, but it was still good. Very Gone Girl-esque, I will say, sort of. Moving on to Friday, I marked that this was my six hour work day, which is always exciting. Um, And then the Pac-Man game I had purchased on eBay to replace the one I lost. Um, What I couldn't get it to work, but I figured it out, which made me feel basically like a computer genius. I ended up cleaning up the little disc reader with um, like a Q-tip and a very little amount of water. And then the disc read. I was ecstatic, but then it had a problem with um, the installation. And again, I felt like a genius. I looked it up on YouTube, found out how to fix it. And I just had to like go into the like installation file subfile subfile I have no idea and add the word old to the end of a specific file which like wild how on earth did that fix all of my problems like computers are so interesting to me if something is just spelled incorrectly <laughs> the program won't work it's it's all it's all just I don't know it blows my mind but I fixed it just by adding old to the end of a random file in a random folder. That's the other thing. How do you computer geniuses find these fixes? I never in a million years would have been able to do that before Google, you know? Um, Then I just did my awful puzzle with more sister wives and my roommate and I went um, in on some Chipotle delivery. And of course our order was messed up. It was still edible. Like they didn't add any weird meats or anything like that, but it was definitely not correct. And it's, it's almost never correct. It's, it's like a fabulous day if we order something and it's correct. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's that just this location or just who knows. And then the final thing for Friday was I listened to my audiobook, The Perfect Couple. Um, I might have, did I finish it this day? I might have. Um, what I will say is it was a little slow at parts. Again, it didn't totally grab my attention, but I loved the ending. I can't say what type of ending it was without giving away the whole twist, but it's like one of my favorite types of endings in a book. So I recommend Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked was that I walked to Aldi at 9 in the morning. I miraculously woke up at 8.30 a.m., probably because of all the sleep that I had been getting. And I really needed to get some, like, I was missing essentials for sure that I wouldn't be able to, like, get through the next week without. So I just forced myself to go. And it's the best thing I could have done for myself because I got a little bit of walk-in. I got some quote-unquote fresh air. I don't know if you can call city air fresh. Um... There was nobody there at that hour and everything I needed was in stock. It was great. Then I called my grandma on the way home. Um, I contacted Chipotle customer service, which was a nightmare and a half, but I can't complain too much because they did give me a coupon for a free entree for the messed up order the previous night. And then I just marked that it was a sick day for Joe, not for me. Every day was a sick day for me, but he was still testing positive so he couldn't leave and I couldn't go see him. So um, just marked that. I worked on my puzzle all day, and uh, then I finished the evening watching The Snowtown Murders, which is um, a movie based on, like, a true crime, like, serial killer thing that happened in Australia. The movie's very low budget, but the acting was pretty good, and even though it wasn't, like, super explicit and graphic and a lot was just, like, sort of insinuated instead of just, like, explicitly shown... I thought it was pretty good, but um, I don't recommend. Don't watch it because it's it's uh, it's pretty messed up. There's this one scene, oof, mm, makes me so uncomfortable. And then finally, moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that Joe was still positive. And don't get me wrong, Saturday was great. Like I just felt so relaxed and good on Saturday. But by Sunday, I was like ready to go watch the challenge with him, and I couldn't. So. Oh, well. So I just did more of my puzzle. And finally this day, instead of, oh my God, I could go on and on about this. I won't, but I finally made the executive decision to lay out all of my puzzle pieces on white pieces of like white sticker paper so that I could actually see what I was working with. And it's the best thing I did. I should have done it when I first started this um, puzzle, but I was so worried about the cats messing everything up. Uh, But I found a a piece that I had been missing since day one. I found it in five minutes. So yeah, 
definitely regret not doing that from the beginning. I watched more Sister Wives. I did the litter um, and took out the recycling. I had insanely bad Sunday scaries this day. It was no joke. And I don't know why I feel like they're getting worse and worse. Although this, I don't know. Nah, this might have been the worst so far. But also my previous week was really, really bad as well. So I don't know. I, I really don't know what the answer to that is. But um, yeah, not doing great on that front. I also tried cooking some new items and I hated them all. I'd gotten like some pre-packaged mac and cheese um, from Aldi. It was disgusting. Don't recommend. I ended up throwing it out. I couldn't eat it, even eat it. Um, and then I talked to one of my best friends who recently moved to Boston on the phone and we did some knitting while we spoke. And he, he, he calls it stitch and bitch, which I think is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Um, and then the final thing for Sunday was that I had really bad sleep again, just because I was so nervous about going into the office on Monday. I really, really, really hate commuting into work. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm back in high school again where I would get so sick about going to school. Like best believe I used every single sick day I could <laughs> and still graduating on time. You know, like I just, I, I don't do well. But anyway, I don't know. I Maybe this was still too long-winded. Who's to say? Um, I just can't shut up. I just love talking. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't like to blah um and yeah my next voiceover is already finished so um that'll probably be up soon thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye